Throw in a minute, Mr. Richards. That was the last train, Collie. Why didn't you lock up? My ma's coming to pick me up. She's crossed at the movie. Again? What's she do? Live there? <laughs> no, but, you know, she's afraid to stay home alone night since it happened. Well, you can't blame the poor woman. No, sir, I guess you can't. You ain't even safe in your own house in this town anymore. <laughs> See you in the morning. Night. Good night. that train? Why, Charlie! Well, you're still on your summer job. I thought you'd be back at the university by now. I'm not going back there anymore. What? There are all a lot of fools up there. Oh, don't say that. But, oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're back. I wanted to talk to you about it. You know, I, I missed you. Well, that's very flattering. <laughs> I hope I can get home before the roads get too bad. You're not going all the way out to Indian Neck now. Why, yes, of course. You better stay at the Winslow house. Well, I never minded a good autumn storm. I know, but your house has been closed for three weeks. It'll be cold, and you won't have anything to eat. Well, but that's all right. I'll stop and get something for breakfast, and I do want to get home. It's lonesome up there. You stay at Winslow house. Well, Charlie, you don't have to worry about me. But, what do you got in here, the gold of the Indies? Oh, yes, I'm sorry, they are heavy. Here. Thank you. I don't accept tips. Don't offer me any again. Oh, Charlie. I don't remember seeing him before. Who is he? Mm. Says he used to be a school teacher. A school teacher? What's he doing here? He's new. You know, a lot of changes can take place in a small town in three weeks, Mrs. Conn. Oh, yes, obviously. <laughs> well, Miss Collins, well, we never expected to see you back in Waverly again, did we, Charles? Hi, Ma. <laughs> well, why not? I just oh. went to visit my mother. Oh, that's what they always say when there's domestic trouble. <laughs> domestic trouble? <laughs> yes. Your husband cleared out of town, too, right after you left. Charlie keeps a sharp eye on passengers. <laughs> my husband stayed at his club in Boston. Did he now? Three weeks is a long time for a man and wife in love to be separated. Charlie says he'd never leave his wife for a minute if he was ever married. Oh, Ma, <laughs> I'm gonna get married, I wouldn't leave you. I see that my husband and I have given the town something to talk about, eh? Yes, ma'am. Talk about? Why, we even thought it could have been your sweet hubby who did it. Did it what? You don't know? Why, your friend Buddy Jackson was found in his truck out Indian Neck Road, dead. Dead? Murdered. With a knife. How terrible! Yes, we thought she'd be upset. Why would anyone want to murder poor Buddy Jackson? Some jealous husband could have done it. But he was just a simple gardener. Yes, but very attractive, you know. Young and good-looking. And well, they tell me that he was putting in some shrubs for you that very afternoon when it happened. Well, I, 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 I did order some shrubs. But oh, poor Buddy! Mr. Collins, didn't come with you, dear. 
No, 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 no. He's driving out. He had an important business meeting in the city. Oh, business. Poor Look, I've got to get home. Charlie, would you get me a taxi? Taxi? You can't get anybody to take your way out Indian Neck Road tonight. But you stay at Winslow House. Charlie, I want to get home. I'll Mom. drive you. What? Not afraid, are you? Why, well, no, of course not. I'd be very grateful. Oh, Miss Collins, don't you think that my Charles is much better this year? Oh, yes, I, I do think he doesn't seem quite so nervous. The psychiatrist at college wanted me to send him to a sanatorium for treatment, but I said all the boy needs is, is a job and a mother's love. And it has done wonders. Yes, I think he's been fine. He's very fond of you, dear. Well, I'm glad, because he's a nice boy. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. Winston. Good night, Charlie. And Ma? All ready to go home? Yes, yes, all ready, son. <laughs> that amuse you. I studied at the University of Montpellier. Oh, that's odd. You think so, do you? Well, no, I, I only meant that it's strange. You should be working in a railroad station. I worked my way up. Oh. From the gutter. I'll put your bags upstairs. Oh, no, 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 never mind. My husband will do that when he comes. Oh. Very well. Would you like me to put that stuff over there in the refrigerator? Oh, no, no, it isn't turned on yet. I'll take care of it later. Look, thank you. I told you, I don't accept tips. Look, I was paying you for a service. Nothing could pay me for the pleasure it's been to be of service to you. Good night. Shut off any minute. Well, 
Uh, miss, uh, was it, I, I'm a little bewildered. I, um, I turned off the refrigerator when I left, and now there's beer in it, and, and it's cold, and, and there was a plant here that's been freshly watered. Well, Mr. Collins probably ordered in some beer and then turned on the refrigerator. <laughs> he doesn't drink beer. <laughs> and I left my plants at Buddy Dash's greenhouse when I left. Well, that's odd. That's very odd. Uh, what, hello, hello. Uh, there seems to be something over the line. Uh, Mrs. Collins, isn't there some way of your getting back here to town? Well, you know, there have been a lot of robberies since you've been away. The Fowler's house was broken into and the Hamilton's, and now what with Buddy Jackson's murder. Hello? Hello, are you there, Mrs. Collins? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, Miss Winston? Miss Winston? Oh, hello. Starring Judith Evelyn, 
with Douglas Watson. if you're expecting me to call. Throw that knife on the bed. I've got an automatic in my hand and I won't hesitate to use it. Don't you believe me? Why, Archie? I didn't think you had it in. I never underestimate a school teacher, Charlie. Archie, you'll get a reward for this. The poor fellow's crazy. He would have killed me if you hadn't come. Bring me a knife, Mrs. Collins. Uh, yes, of course I will. And don't come near me. Just put it down on the bed right here. Why? What's the matter? I'm working my way up, remember? 
Put it down. I came for the sack, Charlie. Get it for me. Go ahead. I knew you had it hidden here. How did you know, Archie? I followed you here last week. That's it. Now I'll be able to leave this dreary town. No. Oh, no, you're not going to leave me with him, are you? He's sick. We're all sick, Mrs. Collins. But I've found a very pleasant remedy. I take only the best out of life. Uh, I let other people do the, do the work, and then I reap the rewards. It's a very satisfying philosophy. Please, you're my friend. But Charlie, you're sick. Did I, did I do something wrong again? Yes, Charlie. Charlie, you should have gone to the sanitarium. <laughs> okay, Mr. Collins. You've been kind to me. I'll do anything. <laughs> Exile, a story taken from real life, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense. <laughs>